their first loss on the year. They've had that loss right in their forefront of their minds for almost a week being met. All about that base, Megan Trainer. Remember that classic? Not to mention the college freshmen in tonight's match were in the third. Across the way for Alex Johnson. Off the header, stop inside. Looking for Jimmy Mark. Mark's shot is off the mark. To the left of the far post. Up ahead, Esteban Leva. Right side, Alex Johnson. From the wing, inside, it skips past two Gamecock defenders but doesn't get behind Vistere. Been winning campaigns. He's completely turned around this program, took him from a bottom 50 RPI to a top 90 team. Up ahead, looking on the cross, Goldsworthy with Balak and Myring near side. Myring, great speed. Left side of the 18. Loses his touch. Sebastian Revan Lomorier knocked down, still no whistle. Ju still alive, ahead for Myring. The header falls into the hands of Calvert. Goldsworthy headed up, backside of the six. Nielsen battling for possession. Nielsen may get a look across inside and poked up and off the post. Velasquez Lopez is begging for the goal. He's saying it clearly went in, but the refs won't give it to him. Ballot gonna get another look for South Carolina. Cross inside, cleared off. We will most certainly have to get another look at the shot from Velasquez Lopez. Referee stoppage as they're going to take a look at replay. They want to take a look just like we do. Alejandro Velasquez Lopez immediately started pleading his case, making a huge early impact for South Carolina. Shot from Jonah Bagar, right of the post. He's off a deflection though, game is open. A slide, not whistled, a look from Esteban Leva. Off the mark left side. Ballack keeps his feet alive. Ethan Ballack punched out by Calvert. A leaping stop from the graduate keeper. First time, truly, that Grant Calvert has third throughout this half. And they're not done yet. Clayton, right side, crosses in, but too far in front of Kuiper. He was dashing up the middle, and just a little bit too much weight on it. Cox with a win and a pair of draws early on this season. Juice not able to beat Calvert there. The Gamecocks 14 and they went into the locker rooms in a scoreless draw. That one wound up being a South Carolina 1-0 winner in a 106 minute overtime thriller. Fast forward a decade later, deja vu all over again. Worse than Ethan Ballack in the first half as well. In total, nine Gamecock shots to two for Beltra ability and confidence. A throw in for the Gamecocks, deep in the final third. They keep it short. Here's Goldsworthy, over for Ballot. Takes a shot and scores! Right on cue, Ethan Ballot with his third goal of the season. South Carolina in front, 1-0. All time in wins at Belmont for a program that started in 1991. Nothing there off the header from teams hoping they can make it up, but as of now, it's just postponed. Look from Velasquez Lopez. 
just off the mark. A true freshman knocking on the door to score all night long, looking for the second goal of his young career. Just off that right post. Left short, taken over by Ballack. Here's Velasquez Lopez back inside for Ballack. Velasquez Lopez, front side of the 18, and there it is. Third time's the charm tonight. Alejandro Velasquez Lopez, his third shot, finds success. And the Gamecocks double up their lead, 2-0. True freshman's second score of the season comes against a foe from his home state, the Knoxville native. Pushes the Gamecocks in front by a pair. Cross inside, stopped by Goldsworth. Ruben Seen Gill. Can Belmont build? Tripped up and a whistle. And the Belmont Bruins will get a PK look in hopes of splitting the deficit they face in half. A dangerous fall inside the 18. Once Reverend Lemorier got behind, couldn't recover and tried his best, but committed a foul you never want to. That Vestir has faced this season. Chastanay. Brings Belmont back within a score. His fourth score of the season for the senior from Louisville. We told you just moments ago. Inside of the 18, here's Brad Dildy. Out swinging, header attempt popped up by Bagar. Still in the six, and Begar. Dildy from the near flat. Nothing there, Andro Velasquez Lopez. He's got it now. South Carolina trying to build back a two goal lead. Shot sells high though. Belmont cut into the deficit with a peak. South Carolina. Whistles go prior to that 61st. Dildy out swinging. Header punched up and off of Kowalski. Back out of Tuesday night, then later on against East Tennessee State before they open up Sunbelt play with Marshall. Here's Jimmy Marks into the side of the net. Fred for his performance. Dildy serves ahead. Looking for the equalizer, but Vistair's there. Header up into the hands of Vistair. That may be the last chance that Belmont gets tonight. The deal against the Belmont Bruins and extend their unbeaten start to four matches in 2024. The first time the Gamecocks have earned a point through four matches in their season in over two decades, since 2004 and, and just